important right off the bat to try to catch as many as many bass as possible because this game also works as an RPG. So every time you catch a fish, it goes towards your strength and attribute skills. Which is very important because when you level up, the bass get bigger. And what I normally do that saves a lot of time is I throw my lure out and then I reel in right away and I just go back and forth with my eyes up and down as the lure is being reeled in. And just to see if I can catch a glimpse of the fish as I'm reeling in quickly and that will save you a lot of time. So you just cast out, reel in, you take a quick look nothing and that, that'll save you a lot of time in this game and uh, saves you a lot of time to look elsewhere and try to catch your big fish you're looking for for that crucial weigh in when it's time to go to the dock so we still haven't found that big fish we're looking for a lot of smaller ones stuff like that Now, you can also move your boat up and down, back to front, and when you do that, that fish on your fish finder is still there in that area. He is not gone. People always make that mistake when they think, oh, I moved my boat, he's not going to be there again. So, no, you can move your boat and he'll still be there. And, and it's good for actually uh, getting that crucial area you're looking for. If he's in a certain area and your, your boat's not moved up far enough, stuff like that. If you really want to get into a, a nook. There we got a bass following here. I think it's a bass. Could be wrong. No, turn away. But uh, we'll get out of here and I'll show you a few other areas to look for. Uh, up here, just follow the rock uh, contours here up in this area. It's a really good area. see what we can find in here. What we'll do is we'll move a little bit over there. And when you're casting, you can also click left to right on the D-pad and you'll actually cast on an angle. Okay. 
here we got a bass. He was probably the one that was on the radar, so... Now I'm seven. I'm se oh, oh wow, well, I caught the small guy. It's okay. Sometimes when you got a big bass and a, and a little fish, uh, if a little bass ends up um, taking the lure first, usually the big bass is gone and he moves. So it's a good point too to stress out that don't stay there if uh, that happens. Yeah, sometimes this is a good area here. Again, we've got a little school, but that doesn't mean there isn't a big black bass there hiding somewhere. And there he is. So what you do is you just click down on the A button to reel in. And, uh, well, we got a school here. I want to catch this big guy here before I. These little guys, I don't, I don't want to entice them because they're not the ones I'm looking for. And bam, there you go. Click down your D-pad just to make them to jump out of the water a bit, good tip. Even when they're struggling to get off, um, when they're twisting, um, it's a good idea to uh, click down the D-pad um, and that'll basically set the hook a little bit better. It's like you're pulling up on your, your fishing rod tightening up the line. So we're just trying to get off, and he stays on. See how I kept the line tight? I just keep clicking down on the D-pad. stays on. It's a good tip. You think you're going to lose your fish. Use that little technique. It works 90% of the time. It's almost guaranteed to keep you to keep your fish on your on your line. And there he's he's tired out and he's hooked. other areas um, in Lake One. Um, these little patches here are excellent for big bass. This is where you can catch your 12 pounder, 13, 14, and yes there is 15 pound bass in the first level. They do exist on the first level. <laughs> 